This is brilliant. It's a big day of celebrations for a school in North Devon. Great Torrington School is 80 years old and they've been celebrating all day with loads of different things going on, including the staff dressing up in period clothing, the canteen cooked up period lunch with bunting and loads of 30s and 40s music. And there were former pupils there as well. One called George, who was there in 1939. Amazing. And he came in for lunch too. Well, I also popped into the school to find out more about what they were doing. Go on, give us a bell. Now that noise is the old school bell at Great Torrington School and I'm standing here with the head teacher Andy Bloodworth. Andy, it's a very special day for the school today, isn't it? Tell us why. Uh, it's just a great uh, chance for us to celebrate 80 years of a community school. Uh, Torrington is really based in the community, and which is a great time to celebrate. Uh, school's modernised, but actually, you know, we change with the times, but there's a lot of history here. Now, we've got here just ahead of the party, but what have you got in store throughout the day? What are you up to? You can hear, probably hear the music that's going. Yeah, we've got some themed uh, music going on. We've got some displays. We've got some archive uh, information. We've got the first and original registration. And actually, we've got some uh, guests that were here when the school first first opening coming for lunch. Um, we've also got a traditional lunch being served and a lot of staff dressed up in costume. I was going to mention the costumes because um, I've seen some of your staff wearing some very interesting outfits. So are they all dress dressing from the era then? Uh, not all of them, but a good number of them, yes. So a lot of them really got into it. Uh, we've got uh, uniforms, we've got traditional land girl costumes uh, and, and just traditional wear from the time. Fantastic. We've got a couple of students here. We've got a couple of year stu 11 students. We've got Carrie and Thomas. Hello. Hi. Hello. So what do you feel about your school? Uh, I feel like our school's very close. We're all like, it's a lovely school to be at. Thomas, you said a little bit earlier to me that you're not the first person in your family to go to the school, are you? Uh, I am not. There is many that follows me, but the first headmaster at Thomas Nance School was my great uncle. And I'm guessing that's who you were named after? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Now, I'm also going to say, without mentioning any names, because you told me this sort of off the record, that uh, one of your relatives got into a bit of trouble. Uh, he did, indeed, yes. On his birthday, he received the cane four times. <gasps> what did he do? I have no clue, but he's never told me. As he wouldn't no. like me to follow his actions. No, with your head teacher standing directly behind me, I'm taking it your behaviour is nothing like that. It is incredible, sir. <laughs> <laughs> With that, is that true, Andy? Uh, he's good. He's a great lad. He's a good role model for everybody, and you know, so it's a pleasure to have him here. And just briefly, you two, how are you feeling? Because it's a really important year for you. It's year 11. How's it all going? Uh, I'm nervous, but I also feel quite confident. So I feel like everything's going to go very smoothly. So and you get lots of support from your teachers here as well. Yeah, lots and lots. Well, good luck to you both, and I hope that all goes really well for you. So we've got a bit of an intergenerational thing going on here as well. Margaret, hello. Hello. Tell me what when you went to the school. 1950. Oh goodness, some time ago. Yes, it was a long time ago. And it's yes. it stayed within your family, hasn't it? Yes. So who's with you today? My daughter. Lynn, hello. Hi. When did you go to the school? Um, 1982. Yeah, 1982. And your daughter as well? Yeah, my daughter left last year. She's now at Exeter College. My son is currently here. Yeah, and mum's grandchildren have all been here. And we've got more great-grandchildren coming up in great. September next year. Great so grandchildren next, next year. So this school is really important to your family? Yes. I Why also worked here. You also worked here? Mm -hmm. Why is it so special? Well, we had such happy memories here. It's a lovely school. Wonderful. Learned to cook with Miss Blackwell. Um, I still remember the thing she taught us. Yeah. So it's got a special place in your whole family's heart. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And Andy, just back to you before, before we let you get on with all your party celebrations because the school hall's starting to fill up now. Here's to another 80 years. Yeah, very much hope so. You know, education keeps changing, but uh, kids are still the same and they still need to be cared for and educated in the same way. So, yeah, 80 more years would be great. And your, the size of the school has grown dramatically, hasn't it? I was reading about this the, the other day. You started with a very small number. Yeah, the school was built uh, at the cost of uh, £25,000. So, yes. It was uh, seven classrooms, I believe, originally. Uh, we're up to 780 plus kids with a capacity of 900, and um, we're growing all the time. So, yeah, lots of changes. Well, you seem very proud of your school. Very much so. I've been here a long time, and yeah, I've been very proud to see it change and very proud to be part of it. Well, before I leave you, to, leave you to it, I just wanted to say happy birthday from everybody at BBC Radio Devon. Great, thank you very much. Happy birthday indeed. It was lovely there, actually. But you know what? I never did get any cake because I just timed it just fractionally wrong. It was just before they got the cake out. But happy birthday again to Great Torrington School in... Yeah, have a great day. Now, earlier on...